Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So in this video, I want to show how to call Python scripts uh, from our Shiny app and uh, from uh, our Markdown. So in the screen, I have a Python program called uh, summary.py. So let's look at this uh, program first. Okay, so in this Python program, we're using the pandas and numpy module. Uh, we're reading a sense data set called class. Uh, we do some calculation and we get the descriptive statistics uh, for some variable. Uh, in this case, I'm getting the summary statistics for height and uh, I print out the, the data frame out the data. So let's run this uh, Python program. So you can see I have the descriptive statistics for treatment A and uh, treatment B. So let's see how we can uh, call this uh, Python script from our shiny app. Okay, so I have a simple R shiny app here. Okay, so here in the UI, I'm using fluid page uh, with table output. In the server, I'm using render table and I print out the R dataset empty cards. So let's run this app. Okay, so this is the uh, empty cars data set. Okay, um, in order to call that a Python script, we just need to do some simple modification on this uh, R program. So first, we need to add the library reticulate. Okay, and we need to call the Python program in the server. So we use the reticulate, colon, colon, and uh, source uh, python um, the name of the python program is summary.py okay and in the render table we need to print out the uh, out uh, out uh, data which is created by that python uh, script okay so let's save this uh, new program uh, let's call it uh, app two uh, dot r. Okay, then we can click on run app. Okay, so you can see it works. We get the descriptive statistics uh, for treatment A and uh, treatment B. Okay, now we want to see how to call the Python script from R Markdown. Let's use the uh, flex uh, dashboard. So let's go to file, uh, new file. Uh, R markdown, go to from template, we use the flex dashboard, click on OK. Okay, now let's save this uh, as uh, app3.rmd. Okay, if you click on Nate, you can see in the output uh, we have three areas, chart A, chart B, and chart C. I'm going to put the output from the Python script in chart A. So let's see how we do that. It's quite uh, simple. So what we need to do is just to copy the Python program uh, into this code chunk for chart A. So let's do that. Uh, we need to make uh, one one change. Uh, we need to change this uh, R to Python. Now click on Nate. So we get the statistics for treatment A and uh, treatment B. So this works uh, as well. Okay, so that's all I want to uh, talk about in this uh, short video. I'm going to put the class dataset, the Python script, and the R Shiny app and the R Markdown program in my GitHub account. And I will leave a link below this video. I hope this is uh, helpful. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.